dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So today we got the Latum build guide for 2024. I get a question a lot on stream, hey, I want to get into the Steel Path, but I haven't done any of the Incarnon stuff yet. What should I do for Steel Path weaponry? And today we'll be showing you a no Steel Path required Latum build, and it's really good for the Steel Path, so we'll be going over that today. But before we do, make sure you hit that sub button. Make sure you sub this channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads. Also hit that like button in the video as well. Let's more people see this video. I really appreciate all the support recently, guys. It really means a lot. And yeah, I might be live tonight, but might not be. I had some car issues today, so hopefully I can get that. It, it's going to be expensive. So we'll see what I can do behind the scenes to get that. So, so. Going into the, the setup, though, we have the Latum Pistol. Now, the way you can get this is you go to the Zeramon. So it's a planet you unlock after some quests. This is going to involve no steel path. So yes, if you are a returning player, you might not have every planet in the game unlocked. There's a planet called Zeramon, pretty late game, and that's where this pistol comes from. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fire a couple shots off. And you can see this bar here right now is charging up from our headshots. The more multi-shot you have, the more meter goes up. Now that we've gotten that meter filled, we can push the alternate fire button to transform it into the actual Latum transformation mode. In this form, it does more damage. It's also... Got AOE explosions on the bullets, too, so... Quick look at how this works here. Right there is clearing out some level 195 Thrax Steel Path enemies. And, of course, if we were to throw some buffs on here, like the Nourish buff from Grendel, we'd get some Viral and some extra Elemental damage. So very good for shredding these guys. Now, this is the non-Crit Latum right now. And the Crit Latum, I'm actually going to recommend if you are you know, a little bit more invested in the game. This build right here is a little bit easier to do. And it could take care of Steel Path pretty well. Alright, so yeah, that is going to be no Steel Path required uh, to get this thing. Let's go ahead and show how that works. This is a secondary weapon, just a reminder. So if you want a primary, you're probably going to want the Felarx or the, F the Fenmore. This video is not about those. So this is a non-crit Latum. For, as far as Incarnon options, we got Rapid Wrath, giving increased fire rates. Lethal Rearmament on Headshot Increased Reload Speed. This Reload Speed makes you transform into the Incarnon form faster. Elemental Excess is used on this build as it gives us a reduced status chance. Or sorry, I guess increased status chance and reduced crit chance. And why do we want reduced crit chance? Well, it's because of Devouring Attrition. 50% chance on non-crits to deal 2,000% increased damage. So basically, it, we don't want the crit. Our crit chance is 12%. With no uh, minus critical chance ribbon, that's kind of how as low as it will go here. So, as far as the build we have on here, uh, we are not using a Bane mod because I want to make it a little bit more accessible today. But we do have some new Prime mods on here. Specifically, we have Prime Convulsion, uh, which was brought, brought by Barak here about a month ago. And we've got a Corrosive Heat build. The reason for this Corrosive Heat build is because Corrosive procs remove any armor. And uh, Heat procs also could do a little bit of armor removal too, but mainly just because uh, Corrosive is good against lots of armored enemies. Additionally, Radiation Damage is good against armored enemies too. Uh, this is definitely a flex mod. Accelerated Isotope is a newer mod from the Sanctum Atomica. Gives you some fire rate, gives you a little bit of Radiation Damage too. Uh, if you don't want to run this, you can run like a Bane mod there instead. You'll have better Corrosive weighting because all the radiation will be gone, but you'll have less fire rate and uh, you know technically worse radiation damage on most of this. But... To me, it was kind of fun to have Accelerate Isotope on there. Additionally, we've got Hornet Strike maxed out. With Once you get pretty high level in Steel Path and get Secondary Deadhead maxed out, you could probably take off Hornet Strike for like a Bane mod, honestly, because this is a 220% uh, increased damage, and then Deadhead gives you like 360% increased damage. So definitely diminishing returns between the Hornet Strike and Deadhead, but once you, you, know, you get the stuff fully maxed out, that's when you can start swapping these things out for mods that you are thinking more useful here. But yeah, as far as the build, we have Galvanized Diffusion. This comes from Arbitrations, and Galvanized Shot comes from Arbitrations as well. On Kill Increased Multi-Shot, this will be your ideal weapon for, or ideal mod situation for doing Steel Path. As you get kills, you get more multi-shot, you can kill stuff even better. Now, enough talking about this. Let's go ahead and show how this build works in an actual Steel Path mission. Uh, we're going to go to Circular Survival. So we'll have some Corrupted Enemies, and we will also have some Sentience, and even an Acolyte too. So This is the non crit Latum build here. And I know it says 10 Forma, it does not need 10 Forma, uh, but the big thing here is that this is going to be for people that just don't want to be really having to worry about stacks as much. Uh, you know, you just fire out the bullet, it's going to kill stuff. You can do multi-million damage with uh, just firing the bullet off, like not really having to worry about stacks. And to a lot of people, that could be very, very helpful. Right here, like I'm, it's a full auto gun, I'm firing semi-auto because it only takes one bullet to kill these guys. Um, 
And for the Acolyte, I will say the crit build is a little bit better for killing the Acolyte. But for this, you know, generic trash ads, I think that the the Devouring Attrition one you're seeing right now is probably a little bit easier. Because the other one we're going to go over, I already showed you, so I just showed you the non-crit one. For the crit one, it's going to be a little bit more involved in, in what kind of stacks you're being hunting for and things like that. So... Let's go ahead and toast this Acolyte, and we can talk about uh, the crit latum here. Because, yeah, um, I do think it is pretty nice, but definitely not for everybody. And just a heads up, too, this one is going to be involving my Riven, just because I have it modded pretty particularly for my Riven. So, if you don't have the Riven, I'll just show you what to replace it with, of course. But here it is with the Acolyte here. So, the Acolyte is dying at an okay pace. It's definitely not an insta-kill, uh, but everything else is an insta-kill. So, just keep that in mind when you're doing a non-crit latum. Uh, Acolytes are very weak to crit, uh, crit attacks, and this is not really a crit, it's a devouring attrition. So yeah, the multipliers are still decent, but it's not going to give you the crit multiplier that Acolytes are usually very weak to. If you want to be really slaying on Acolyte, here's where the, the crit latum will come into play. And this will be a similar-ish build. Now as far as what we have different on this one, uh, we've actually got different Incarnons here. So this is an entirely different latum here, guys. I've got two latums. One of them is the non-crit one we just showed. This is the crit one I use this from Citrine and some other characters too. But the big things here, different Incarnon upgrades. So we still got the Fire Rate from Rapid Wrath. Uh, we also still got Lethal Rearmament. But we've got uh, Caput Mortum, giving increased headshot damage. Uh, because we actually do want to have some crits here because it's a crit build. For our final evolution, we have a different one that's not Devouring Attrition. We have Overwhelming Attrition. The other one's Devouring Attrition. This is Overwhelming Attrition. On hit, that is neither critical nor status, plus 40% damage for 10 seconds. Stacks with three times. So that means we have to be at pretty particular numbers here. We don't want to be doing a crit or a status, uh, but we want to get crits after. <laughs> we want to get crits after we get a couple of yellow crits to get these stacks up. So not too high of status, not too high of crit, but we do want to mod for crit damage here. So, a nice thing here is if you're using a friend like Citrine or Harrow, once you get your stacks uh, upwards, you, know, you increase your stacks, then that's when you can be uh, using like the fourth ability of Citrine to get guaranteed red crits. But as far as the crit build here, we are. Um, now, as far as what my Riven is, it's a pretty weird Riven. It's got Toxin damage, Crit damage, Multi-Shot, and Minus Crit. If you don't have that Riven, just put on a Toxin mod there, because that's all that we're really doing that for, to get Corrosive on here. So, with the no Riven setup here, and of course, we got Augur Seeker on here for some reason. Um, this is going to be very nice for killing Acolytes pretty quickly. Now, Augur Seeker is used for shield gating. You can take that off for whatever you feel like. You can put on a Bane mod if you want to, for all I care. Uh, but the big thing here is just make sure that you have uh, not too much crit chance, because sometimes you don't want to actually be getting crits. So you can get those stacks in the fir first place. So go ahead and show you on the save enemies how this works. So basically, you have increased headshot damage on this one. And look, we already got three stacks of lethal rearmament. So we, we should be... Oh, there's, okay, there's overwhelming attrition. So we're fully stacked now. So we're fully stacked on the crit build. So showing how this slays out. Pretty similar to the previous build. Uh, it's mainly going to be noticeable against Acolytes, for sure. We throw on Nourish. And this is all with no steel path required, guys. Now, for primary, de for secondary Deadhead, you do need the steel path. But uh, that is not technically necessary for this build. And of course, since you're using this weapon to clear the steel path you will be getting secondary deadhead from the steel path to what put on this weapon to make it even more powerful. So, yeah, the latum is pretty good. Um, actually, it's very good. It's actually the most popular incarnate on the entire game in the secondary slot. Uh, and as far as, you know, would I recommend it to you? Yeah, I would. Uh, it is no helmet, there are no steel path required. Just go to Zeramon, talk to Caballero, and there will be very basic requirements on how to actually get this. So, I recommend this to most players getting into the steel path. Like, really, if you just go through the steel path, here's what you can do, okay? You're beating your story quest. Melee weapon that you're going to be using for the steel path. Broken War from the story quest. You could probably make the Skia Jadi or the Broken Scepter work too, but I'd recommend the Broken War. Very good crit stats, very good slash, just good in general. So Broken War is your melee weapon on the steel path. Your primary can be the Nataruk. The Nataruk from the story, after you beat some of these quests, you'll get a free... Uh, bow from beating one of the stories called the Nederuk. Very high stats, very like good at AoE. Use that. And then the only weapon you have to get non-story quest, the only weapon that's not just handed directly to you, is this Latum Pistol. And the Latum Pistol comes from the Zeramon planet. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get that really quick before we end the video. But yeah, this is going to be a way that you can work towards Steel Path, guys. Uh, it will be, it's technically level 10,000 viable for sure. Um, you could use Nourish, you could use Zata's Whisper, you could use Roar, you could use Eclipse. Just, if you're using a level 10,000, I want to buff it in some way. 
But yeah, you're looking at you're looking at like the, the same kind of damage that a lot of high level players put out with a relatively easier acquire weapon. So here we are on the Zeramon planet right now. Now, if you want to get this item, you have to go over to well, I think you have to rank up a little bit too. But go over to the Zeramon planet and go talk to Cavalero. and just go to browse wares. And right here, Latum. I think it requires like rank one, three thousand rep. Okay. Oh, it does technically require MR fourteen. So MR fourteen. And just 3,000 rep, and you're good to go. So, hope you guys found this video fun and helpful. That's my late, those are my Latum builds without ribbons for 2024. Uh, basically, corrosive heat. If you want to change it to radiation for like an Archon hunt, very easy to switch uh, switch that Toxin mod to Electric mod, and you're good to go. So, see you guys next video. Appreciate the support. Take it easy. Peace.